Alrighty then, welcome back, boys and girls. It's your main math manager, Mr. Shank, coming to you live from Walker Grant Middle School. It's a nice chilly Friday morning, and always want to close out the week on a good note. Make sure that you are putting your name on it first before anything else, because the no-name pile is unfortunately, uh, unfortunately growing, and people's grades are decreasing, so put your name on it. Very first thing. All right. Uh, so when you are given scatter plots, you are able to possibly make predictions, meaning you should be able to expect how much money a person can make at age 54. So since this has an obviously a positive correlation, meaning the slope of the line of best fit is positive. So that means as X increases, as X increases our age, our Y increases. And so our Y value is uh, the yearly income times 1,000. So for instance, it's uh, 10,000, which making 10,000 a year at 18, that's way more than it. <laughs> anybody I've seen. So that's a pretty pretty big step. But anyways, uh, you have 10,000, 20,000, 30, so on and so forth. Okay, that's not $10, that's 10,000. So if you find you're at age 54, so you have to have your x value that is 54, and so we can draw a straight line vertically from that point. So then we can draw a straight line vertically from that point. Again, I'm using this to help guide me and make, again, it's a prediction, it's a approximation. It's not going to be exact, it's not going to be perfect, but you want to at least um, give it your best effort. So, so now that I have at my age 54, I want to say how much money can a person expect to make. So we're looking for a Y value. So now from that value that I or excuse me, from that line of best fit, I can now, let's say, well, what would this value be, approximately? So it's going to be eh, right in, right, kind of in the middle of uh, 70,000 and 60,000. So right in the middle is going to be what? Well, it's going to be about 65,000. So if, if you're making 65,000 at age 54, that's not too bad. You've done pretty well for yourself. So what I want you to do, so for the listeners that actually listen to my oh, wonderful voice, I, I like to say, uh, please make sure that you are writing a complete sentence. So it will sound like this. We can expect a person to make $65,000 at age 54. All right, moving on. And so for the, uh, the very, very last one of the week, it says basketball game attendance, and well, we have our X value, so it's number of games played, and then the Y value, or dependent variable, is gonna be how many people attended game number three. Uh, this one's quite simple. We don't even have to make a prediction because it gives us the value right here. So let's... Uh, Let's find our x value. So it says how many people attended game three. So we go to game three, and we go up, and we hey, right there's a point, and more specifically, it is 600. So again, all you have to do is be able to very easily read that graph. It gets a little tougher when you try to have a prediction, but as long as it is reasonable, again, you're going to have, uh, anytime you make a prediction like that, it will give you different choices that you can uh, pick from. And so it's just asking, you know, what would be the most reasonable answer? So if, for this one, however, it says exactly how many were on or at game number three. And so you can say 600. All right. So uh, have, again, your name on it as always. Make sure you are studying for next week's test. Again, it will cover... SOL items 8.13, 8.15, and 